hello you guys and welcome back to my channel my name is maddie it is literally 1201 right now in the morning on a friday night we just went to a friend's birthday party we came home early because i am making my grandma's cinnamon roll recipe tonight because we're having ronnie's mom over tomorrow his grandma for brunch and then his brother and his brother's girlfriend and we're going to be hosting and i really just want to make cinnamon rolls like homemade fresh and that is just my dream this is my grandma's recipe we used to wake up on christmas and eat these cinnamon rolls and they're so good i'm a little bit nervous because you have to let the dough rise and all of that and all of my grandma's recipe books are pretty like oh maybe three to four cups depending on dot 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 and i'm just not the best baker in the world so this is kind of a stretch for me but I feel like it's hard to mess up cinnamon rolls. Knock on wood. Also, look how cute this recipe book is. My mom did it years ago, like maybe 10 years ago, maybe longer. But it's called Recipe Over the Recipes Over the Years, Farnham Street and Beyond. It was where they grew up, the street they grew up on. And it's all of my grandma's recipes and like all of our recipes that we've made over the years on her side of the family. And I just think it's so cute. It's in a little binder. It's not even the best part. Most of the recipes are my grandma's handwriting, which I just think is so cute. It's honestly kind of hard to read. But how special is that? I told my mom that I want one with her and my dad's recipes on it, like all handwritten. I just think that's such a cute idea. So let's get started on her cinnamon roll recipe. I kind of have no idea what I'm doing, but we're just gonna wing it. woke up about 30 minutes ago and pulled the dough out of the fridge and now I'm gonna roll it out. I currently have some butter melting. I'm about to pull out the stick and use it to butter the pan and then I'm gonna roll out the dough, put some butter on the top and then put some sprinkled cinnamon and sugar. Okay, they're about to be here. I'm gonna show you what I've done. I honestly feel like the best hostess today. It's so exciting, I love hosting. Here's what I'm wearing. It's cold out, so I wanted to wear a sweater, but I wanted to be short sleeve because obviously I'm cooking, it's hot. This is American Vintage. These little sparkly pants are Sandro, and then a heel and a pointed toe just makes me feel like so confident. So I wanted to do that in case the food sucks, at least I feel good about it. <laughs> I'm very proud of my tablescape. I think it turned out so cute. And again, we're celebrating Christmas, so I left all of our Christmas decor up. We still have our tree. And then these were super special. These were actually a gift from Ronnie's mom. And they're the Christmas plates Ronnie and his brother used to use growing up for Christmas. Like they're nice little china. So it's super special. It's got like a 90s vibe. It's honestly just beautiful. Like honest, just so special to me. And then it came with like bowls and stuff like that. But very, very proud. My cinnamon rolls smell amazing. I'm so excited. I'm waiting for the butter to melt so I can make the icing. They're huge, but they turn out great. And then I'm doing like a little mimosa bar with nice little juices and then mimosa glasses. These are my fave. Probably not gonna fit a whole lot of mimosa, but a nice little coffee bar with a bowl of like just different caffeinated. And then I'm gonna fill this pitcher up with water and then fill the glasses on the table, the dining table. My mom always has like fresh water next to people's glass or people's food and I always just think that's so nice. Looks like the butter is almost melted, so I'm gonna do the icing. Some spillover, but holy crap, those look good. 
brunch today went great a perfect way to tie a little bow on christmas and the holiday season i'm now trying on i need to like kind of hustle i'm now trying on ski stuff to bring i ordered a lot more and i'm just trying to mix and match and figure out like what i want to wear again beginner skier never skied i'm gonna take a lesson i think i'm gonna i convinced ronnie to let me take a private lesson anyways here's what i'm thinking so i got these perfect moment pants and i'm in love with them but they're $600 and I just don't know if I need that, a ski suit and a new ski jacket all in one year. Like that just kind of seems pretty expensive, even though like, look how cute those are, I'm obsessed. I got this Obermeyer ski onesie and I've had this sweater underneath it, this perfect moment sweater. And I feel like this onesie is extremely flattering. So I think I'm gonna do this and then with, with this perfect moment jacket. And I feel like that's a splurge enough. Like this jacket wasn't cheap. So, but I wanted a cute ski jacket and I wanted something that's like specifically for skiing and just as fun. Like I don't, I want to have fun with the outfit. So I feel like this little Obermeyer onesie, again, super flattering. Love my little moon boots. This like makes a really cute outfit for the one day. And then my other day is definitely going to be kind of along the same lines. I feel like both my outfits kind of coordinate and I kind of tied them around the green shoes, but I also didn't want to invest in a ton of fun colors because if I ever go skiing again, like this is kind of my foundation ski wardrobe, you know, like I want this to be basics, timeless, will last me forever, stuff like that. So this first look, and then I'm not gonna put on the second look, but I did get a picture. This is my current rack of things that I'm gonna bring. So. Also perfect moment, also star themed. I'm gonna do this one piece set, super cute, has like stars on the little feet. And then under this one, I'm gonna do this perfect moment sweater that I wear to stars games all the time. But yeah, I think that's gonna be really cute. Look good, feel good, you know? Like I wanna make sure that I'm looking cute. And then when we're done skiing, you know, just take it off and then it kinda turns into pants and like a cute little sweater. Okay, the other fun thing that I got that was so random that it came out when I was going skiing, Skims, first layers. This super cute fun onesie to put underneath, like as my first layer, my base layer. So cute, and it was pretty warm, so we'll see. And I like how it feels more like athletic material, material than like scratchy wool. And then they were out when I went to buy it of the top that goes with the pants, but I just bought the pants and I'm excited about these, so. Okay, I think we're off to a good start. Now I need to race to get ready. We're going to dinner. Thankfully, already showered and did my hair. I just need to touch it up and then redo my makeup. Okay, we're going to dinner. Her name's the best pick us up, and this is what I'm wearing. I really honestly just want to be casual. We've had a long day, so I'm wearing flats, but they're cute, so they kind of spice up the outfit. Here's the whole look together. I'm doing this red sweater that I got last year, white tank under, tennis necklace. I'm honestly just wearing like studs because I'm not feeling it. Not feeling earrings, these Citizens of Humanity jeans, and then my fun little statement that makes them fun for a Saturday night, and then my Laura Piana bag. But yeah, this is the look. Happy Saturday. Happy Sunday, you guys. It's about four o'clock right now. Last night, we just went to dinner with Hernan, our friend, and then our other friends, Madison and Connor, came over and we just like played games and stuff all night and drank wine and it was really fun. Had a bit of a raw morning and then went to Core Power Yoga Sculpt class. I'm really loving it recently. Like I've been three times in the past week. I'm really, really enjoying it. Um, I think it's gonna be my workout for at least Q1. Like I'm really feeling it more than I am Pilates, which is weird, but anyways, it was a great class. It was so hot. I was dripping sweat within the first 10 minutes. Came home, showered, washed my hair, and then now I'm meeting everyone over at Nate's to watch the Cowboys game. I'm running a little late, I need to put on my sweatshirt. And to be honest, I really, really need to do so much laundry, so we're gonna have to have a busy night because I leave for a couple days for skiing and I cannot wait to take you guys with me. I think this is Abercrombie, the sweatshirt. Um, I got Ronnie a couple for Christmas doing some Uggs, and then yeah, let's pray that they win. I'm a little nervy. Back home, that was quick, the Cowboys won. I'm now gonna be doing like packing things. I have to do a ton of laundry. I'm really tired. I just laid in bed with Mac for like an hour watching TikToks and just kind of messing around. So I'm gonna do laundry tonight, and then tomorrow I think we're gonna pack together. And then Tuesday's gonna be like final little touches on the packing, but I really wanna get all of my packing done tomorrow. I have a meeting tomorrow. I'm going to 
a yoga class, so I don't really have that much going on. Um, I definitely need to send some emails. I feel like I've been slipping on the emails. Oh, I have to send in content, but it's kind of the vibe, I think, right now. I'm gonna get the laundry done, kind of have a nice little night by the fire, fold laundry, stuff like that. Sounds kind of nice. <laughs> 